the last 10 years. I mean, we were organizing the championships, I think, seven times. Then it was twice in, uh, in Austria. And that's it. So um, there are not so many organizers in the world which are able to, to make also a championship because of all the costs. This is very, very nice. So we have for sure, because of the tradition, always some, very, uh, some strong German teams. We have the first league. So uh, we are competing nearly all the year um, for the Russians and also for, for the Mongolians. I think is a little bit different. They are just preparing for the World Championships or for European Championships. But it's nice to see that other countries are growing and that they um, are creating also different styles that, let's say, every team has its own character in a way. This is what is quite nice. In Germany we have about 300 formations, I think, and we have different leagues. So it's like in soccer. So the lowest league is the fifth league, then the fourth, third, second and first league. Beginners are in the fifth league and then uh, when they win the league they can go in the fourth league. There is a qualification competition for this. So, And like this you go up and up and up till you arrive in the first league. And there every year is changing the seven and eight place. So the seven and eight has to go down and the first two from the second league they are going in the first league. The winner of this league is already qualified for the next world championship so and the winner of the german championship which is following then in november is getting the second uh, ticket for the world championship if you like it please confess that's your self -injection. let's say both russian teams they have really strong dancers Tumen for sure has, for me, still better dancers than Perm. And they have their own style of formation dancing. So for us is it not easy at all to win against these strong teams because we know their strength. So, and we know what they can do amazingly. But I know also what we can do better in a different way. Um, that we are still on the point that we can compete with the Russians. Because if you look now, this year, I think amateur standard Russia, amateur Latin Russia, youth Russia. Uh, so in every standard formation Russia. So I think they won nearly every title what you can win. And for this is always will it be something special to beat Russian teams. Because we now, how strong is Russia in dancing. 16 people, one heart, one soul, one dream, one goal. So what changed for sure in the last four or five years, for me also in a negative way and in a good way, so that more and more the show is coming in front and the dancing is going a little bit uh, in the back. First of all, it's not formation show dance, it's formation Latin American dancing. So this means we need recognizable music in a way. We need for sure characteristical steps in a way. And the most important thing about formation is how to create the pictures and the flow of the pictures through the music and the characteristical steps. So this is my way of understanding the formation dancing. And um, I want to have always a flow. For example, I don't like to have a break for four or five seconds in the music because uh, anyway, when I have a single competition and I have a choreography and I build, for example, a break inside of uh, my routine, the music is continuing. So I need to make the break looking alive towards the music. So in formation it changed a little bit in the last years that teams are really trying to getting more effects through this way 
and this is not my philosophy. So I love to produce music and uh, to understand also the flow and the sense of the music. And this is where I put my strength inside. When a season is finished and we have to prepare a new project, the new project is already starting, let's say, in the mine one year before. So I'm collecting music, I'm thinking which parts can be very fine for combining maybe different styles of music. So and then I'm going into the studio and we are producing the music uh, with the Munich Philharmonic Orchestra. So also this has a tradition in Germany. Um, the, amount of money what you need for producing such six minutes is about 20,000. We have 12 strings, we have eight, nine blasts in the studio, then we have all the percussive, uh, um, the congas, then the drums, everything. So in, in total about in one week there are coming more than 60 or 70 musicians which are producing this six minutes. You have the idea, you go to the studio, you are speaking the arranger and then we are writing a partitur. So for every dance and for every instrument we are writing the notes and everything and putting it together and like this we are creating always, I think, a nice flow towards the music. And this is what is the most impressive work because there all the ideas are starting. Then you are more or less, let's say, uh, you have the rough mix, how we are calling it, but we are still not finishing the setup. And then I start to make the choreography. So, and after two months where I finished in a rough way the routine, I'm going again in the studio and saying, no, we need to change because my idea of choreography is <clears throat> that we need to make it a little bit longer or this piece or in samba they are missing two bars or something like this. Yeah, and then um, we start again for three days. So, and then the music is finished, then I cannot change anymore. Then I have to produce everything on the music. Everybody is looking at the formation scene also from outside, I know. Uh, also the Russians and the Mongolians and everybody is always like, okay, no German championship, let's see who has which music, how is it sounding. Um, because the league is very strong. Actually, I have also a girl which moved from Mongolia to us, to Germany, to dance inside of our team. So she won yesterday her first title. She came one year ago and she was from Moondance and uh, yeah, so also I think uh, the Mongolians were very proud yesterday about her. It's quite nice that in the past years a lot of good dancers from other formations from outside found their way to come to Bremen to live there just because of formation dancing. So they are really nice stories behind. It's not like a normal single couple dancing where you have one couple because in formation there's one teacher or let's say my wife, me and my co-trainer, we three, we are there and nobody else is touching this, this dances. So in a normal <coughs> system of dancing there are so many people which are trying to influence the couple so there are many teachers working on one couple so this is not possible with the formation so they need the clear direction the near face actually I think also the normal couples at the moment need this more because they are trying to to work everywhere or to take everywhere lessons so they don't have any more a base of information from a home teacher where they are let's say following for 70 80 percent and the rest is the inspiration what they are taking from other teachers from outside. 
because only in this way you can create a personality. Nobody can touch us. This is our product, what we are creating for more than half a year. And then we have this one chance on the German Championship to show it or not to show it. That the people can like it or they don't like it. This subject or this part of dancing we can, um, we can show to a television, we can show to normal people. I mean I'm going to a Grand Slam and I'm watching it and I'm seeing, I don't know, 700 people. Then we are making a world championship and we have 8,000. So it's not like we have 800, we have 8,000. And this is, are the people from the street. So normal people which are coming because they like the atmosphere, they like the show, uh, they like the battle. So this is how dancing must be shown. I think every new idea is good because we are living now in a century where we need to change things and to improve and to develop also. So for me is it, is it good that we try new things. If it's later better, I don't know, but if it's uh, a good project where the couples feel good, where the couples will feel better and the most important thing the people will more understand this challenge on the floor between two couples, then I'm happy.